We will be posting the next two episodes, and one will be my with the weight parade, and your with the weight. It's gonna whip the weight. You haven't been drinking, have you? No. Pull weight. Pull weight. How cute. Okay, yes. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. We're, We're the Sunshine, Sunshine Stitchers. Stitchers. I'm EJ. And I'm Shelia. Yay! Good morning. <laughs> it is early, y'all. It's early because I've got somebody coming to help me put together some furniture later. As I said, coming together to help me yeah. put together some furniture. <laughs> I'm but, going to help put together some furniture. <laughs> yes. Actually, weather permitting. Y yeah. Because uh, you're going to be outside in the patio putting up this one? Yeah, there? which is dry, but still. It mm, could be no, miserable. windy? Windy. I mean, I can put the fans on and the lights on, but still, I'll check later and yeah. see. We'll I see had, what the weather is. I like. You know, I like assembling stuff like yeah. that. I had a business idea where I would assemble people's furniture or oh. assemble, assemble people, whatever yeah, they bought that needs assembling. Well, Right? And then the name, it would be a warehouse. They would bring in the stuff, and then we would deliver it back completely oh, done. Oh, yeah, just bring in the box. Like exactly. The brown box. Exactly. I would pay for that. You would? I would. The name of the business would be yeah. Some Assembly Required. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. <laughs> but here I am teaching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I, it would be, yeah, that would, that would be, I like that stuff. I really do like that stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. I get confused very easily if the directions are not really clear. Mm -hmm. um, I, I get lost. And then when I get lost, then I don't know what to do mm -hmm. because I'm thinking I'm in, I'm looking and I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Then, it, then I usually wind up finding stuff calling somebody really I no i i am in the mode of i'm gonna figure this out mm -hmm. i have to figure it out for me mm -hmm. it's like a puzzle mm -hmm. like yeah yeah no i've had people when i got to that point so i don't think i did this right and, and so mm -hmm. you guys come over and take a look at what i did <laughs> crack up and start laughing so this is that bad <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you really? I've had some, yeah, some mm -hmm. definitely confidence, yes. uh, sucking <laughs> responses to my assembly. <laughs> but now I, I assembled a desk for my brother-in-law. It's, it was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the drawers are like this. And then, and then I said, this is a bad construction. Like, I think it's the <laughs> desk fault, not my fault. <laughs> And then did he take it apart and put it back? No, it, it, it just still he he Jimmy rigged it. He, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I don't use that drawer. <laughs> oh my oh, god, my, yeah, it's bad. Oh lord. Uh, well, we want to thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, for joining us. for joining us today. We know that this is a busy time of the year for a lot of people. Um, so much going on, plans, holidays, year ending, just, yes. it's incredible. Um, so we appreciate the fact that you're spending a, a little bit of your time with us and we hope that we make it worth your while. Mm -hmm. You want to put a smile on your face or just, you know. Have you thinking? Yeah, yeah. Questioning our sanity, you know, that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. We do too, so. <clears throat> Enjoy uh, so last week it was Deb and I because you were out sick and yes. so many people sent you I know. well wishes. Thank you so much. I was, yeah, it was a bad cold. I was like, my fever broke on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I had, a, I had like sweating. Mm -hmm. No, fever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just 
under the bed, under the sheets. Just, yeah, it's like the world just. Yeah, just, like no. <laughs> went to sleep early on Friday. Mm -hmm. I called you on Friday. I was like, oh, yeah, yes. it got worse. Just, oh, it did. Yeah, because oh. I was, um, because I was at work. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna be mm -hmm. preparing for a test, mm -hmm. be by myself. So in the morning I was okay, and then as an afternoon people were like. Mm, you got worse. Mm, you're getting worse. Mm, why don't you go home? So I went home. <laughs> so, yeah. But I, I'm feeling so much better. Oh, good, good, good. Now good. my brother-in-law has the crud. Oh, no. Yeah. So after this, I'm going to go make him some chicken soup. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I've never made chicken soup, but I'm going to try oh, it. You want to take some of what I made? It actually isn't that bad. Okay. I mean, it's not one of my best, but it's... <laughs> I'm I'm going on a trip, so I'm cleaning out the uh, refrigerator. Yeah. So it's, you know, the rest of a stalk of celery, the mm -hmm. rest of some onion and some chicken. And then I had some seasonings that I had put together mm -hmm. a while back, mm -hmm. some Greek seasoning. Mm -hmm. So I just looked at it and said, okay, <laughs> that's all. the rest of it. You put Greek seasoning in soup. I did. That's, that's why I called it kind of questionable. <laughs> And it is a little questionable. Is it? But you can take some to him if you want. It's frozen. Oh, okay. I just froze it. Yeah. I'm sure he'll appreciate My it. My feelings won't be hurt if, if <laughs> it's one sip. In the, no. <laughs> no, My thank you. Okay. I did taste it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Not one of my better ones. Really? Yeah. I, but then maybe you won't want to take it. <laughs> I, I mean, she's I, just, every time she talks about it, she's just, just bringing it down. Worse, yeah. I, know. I just don't want to have wrong expectations. Uh -huh. it, it's not Good. what I usually do. Got it. I usually do a chicken soup. When I think about it, mm -hmm. you know, I'll put carrots mm -hmm. in there. And, you know, really kind of make it all nice. And, and toasty and warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so, um, so Deb was here. Yes. And uh, we did her, she didn't do a whip parade mm -hmm. as such. She did her 24 in 24 plans, mm -hmm. which are very exciting. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed looking at the pieces that she selected, mm -hmm. the variety, mm -hmm. the designers, just really good. Some of them definite finishes, um, because she'll be working on two pieces, dedicate a month to mm -hmm. two pieces. Mm -hmm. A couple of them look like they will finish easily. Um, yeah. Uh, Halloween she's Quaker. She's got some big ones, some old mm -hmm. ones in there. Um, Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So good. If you didn't check it out, go ahead and check it out. It Definitely nice. check it out because uh, it's just a wonderful um, plan that mm -hmm. she has identified for 24. Are we talking? Are we going to talk about our plans when we come back? Or yeah, when now? we come back. Okay. You don't, do you have them ready? I mean, I can tell. No, I don't. I didn't bring it. Okay, mm. the, we'll do it. Do you have yours ready? I do, but I didn't bring it out for today. Gotcha. No, I, I mean, like my 24 book is not here. Yeah, yeah me neither. So That's we'll my, yeah. Do it when we come back. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about our 24 plans in in, in 24. In 24. Yeah. Our first video of 2024. Correct. We're going to talk about what we're going to do. Yes. Alrighty, so do you have any finishes? I do. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Wait. Is it a what? finish? <laughs> Is it, that's, that's, you, um, you, somebody said a finish is such a personal thing. And I said, you know what? Call it what you want. If you want to call it a finish, go ahead. Everybody may look at you cross eyed. And, and, so, and, and say, bless her heart. <laughs> she thinks it's a finish. <laughs> you want that kind of finish. <laughs> so no. you pull out one of those and I go, bless your heart. <laughs> no, I don't have a finish yet. <laughs> I'm not going down. Yeah, I'm not going down. Uh, no finishes <laughs> as of yet. <laughs> okay. I don't have any finishes either. Okay. Either, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That word. Any starts? No. Um, uh, yes, I have a. Yes, I have a start. Okay. 
So if I have a start, then I can call it a finish though, right? No, I can't. I can't. You're right. You're right. I, I had two starts. Oh, three starts. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> three starts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting ready to write. I'm so excited. <laughs> Three starts. I started from Well Hello There. I started July, August, and September. Oh. So this is a hands on design. It's a little booklet for every month it says hello and then the month and then it has some buttons on the bo bottom yes every month has buttons i has called for buttons, buttons. <laughs> so that was quite the that conversation. was hilarious <laughs> <laughs> when i when i saw that i, I did too i cracked up i cracked <laughs> up my head went in my head and said oh my god did we just reincarnate <laughs> Abbott and Costello? Oh my that God. That was hilarious to me. Because for, I was like. <laughs> All I know is my mind, my brain was expanding in my Oh my mind. gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> but to, to the, I'm like, you asked me, is it finished? I, anyway, I said, yes. He said, oh, does it have buttons? Yes, it has buttons. Is it finished? Yes, <laughs> but no buttons. It's like, what are buttons? You're like, but is it? <laughs> yes, it's finished. The stitches, because <laughs> in my head, the stitches are done in just these buttons. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, God. That was, right. that was yeah. Uh, I'm using Victoria Model Sampler Shop Threads. I was so hard. <laughs> and I was trying to say, what does this she? I think it might have not, but I thought it was clear. It just needs buttons. <laughs> I thought it was very clear. No. But, you know, it's okay. Yeah. So okay. that was our version of yeah, Who's yeah. On First. First. Yeah. By Abbott and Costello. For those of you who are not aware of that, Comedy routine. Oh my goodness, yes. Look up Abbott and Costello. Who's on first? Google it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that pretty much describes the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and these are my threads. This is for all oh, 12 months. Oh, how nice and cheery and bright. Yeah. And they're Victorian model sampler. Yes, they're all Victorian model samplers. Nice and bright. What is this one right here? Oh, that's nice. Firehouse, Firehouse Red. Red. Wow. Like that a is, coral, right? Yes, that's a real. Mm -hmm. Firehouse wow. Red. Nice. All right, so. I started. Because I'm preparing for Year of Whips. Oh. Year of Whips is the. Um, brainchild of Melanie Watkins, mm -hmm. Soulful Stitcher, mm -hmm. where um, you you declare a number of whips uh, at the beginning of the year, and at the end of the year, you need to complete at least half. So the minimum to declare is eight. And I wanted to declare a couple of these, so I know I'll finish it completely, including buttons. Well... I mean, isn't it a whip because you, you're you working it all on the same piece of fabric? And See, got that's the thing. I don't know because I don't know what her definition of whip is. Oh, oh. I just want to make sure I put a little something on, on each, each one, one. Okay. So, so I can declare it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Some people, it's one length. Mm hmm You know, one, one length of thread, but yours is small bits. Yes, because I don't yeah. have, like... Uh, October, November, December, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I put a little something in mm -hmm. each one just mm -hmm. to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. So this is my start on July, my start and semi-finish on July. Because nice. all I needed are the buttons. buttons. Mm -hmm. Hello, July. Very nice. This is the start on August. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the start of September. Very nice. You, you're, you're in there. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Oh, very cool. Thank you. It took me... And this comp made my... Oh, wait. I, I hear it. 
my because this was called for Whipco. Oh. And this um satisfied my Whipco Whip call oh. for December. So for that piece. For this piece. Okay. Did, what about your other whip go call? We're gonna get to oh, okay, okay, okay. She's excited. I am very excited. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> 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 so this is it very nice thank you all right yes i think i'm forever like post-traumatic oh my gosh on this. oh my goodness this it was that was interesting it was painful <laughs> it was I told you, my my head my brain all right so though, that's my new start do you have a new start nope very good. All right. Or oh, those were my new starts. Yes. All right. So we'll just keep on going with, with your my whips. whips. Perfect. All right. Next whip. Can you put it in there? Yes, I can. Please? This, this, and this. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My next whip. Mm, nope. That's not a whip. I'm sorry. I just brought it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's, about, it's in the bag because I'm supposed to stitch on it every week. And um, I didn't stitch on it this okay. week. Next we have Oh shoot. That's not a whip either. Oh no. Did I not write it down? Uh, what is this called? Seasonal motif. Hmm. Mm. Oh, because you were here for two weeks. See, so that's why. Oh, two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Oh, so this is a whip. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I had to visualize. I had to look at her calendar. Yeah. To. Because I wasn't here the night. To, yes, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So this is a whip. Okay. I'm, I apologize. No, no, no. It's. it's yeah. Because usually I'm here every week yeah. ish. So this is Autumn Montage, it's a Janlin kit, and the artist is Janice Stever. You could get a full coverage on um, Pain, Pain, Free, Free, Pain Free Crafts, Crafts yes. or you can get the kit, and they have the whole shebang. But I'm not using the kit fabric, I am using its floss. It's Joe. You saw him. I saw, I saw Joe jumping on the back of the red couch. Oh, okay. And then I'm like, I hear, yeah, that's Joe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am using the floss. <laughs> I'm just not using the fabric. For the fabric, I am using 36 count vintage country mocha. And this is my Sunday seasonal stitch. I'm supposed to stitch on it every Sunday. Mm. I was good with the other months, but oh no, I see him back there. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yeah, he now got off because he he's like, yeah, yeah, mischief manage, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> so this is oh. what I've been up to. <laughs> this is the first little section. Oh, how look that the leaf is really uh, you can see it. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I worked on, I don't know, 165 stitches worth. Yeah, right in here. Do you guys see the filling brown? Filling in, mm -hmm. yeah, just filling in, yeah. And the acorns, starting on the acorn. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Acorns right there. Very nice. Very colorful, really I'm gonna look good on that mm -hmm, fabric. fabric. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is multi-year project. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like a full coverage for me. <laughs> Thank you. Then we have uh, seasonal motifs. Seasonal motif two. Yeah. And this is the second spring motif. Spring 
motif too. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right, this is a Brita Cup design and I'm working on that one. And here it is. Here it is. So what's left, I need to, I'm using um, called for and 310. I'm not using the, the 10 that they um, suggested. I'm using three, I'm using 310. I'm not using the black that they suggested. Mm -hmm. And this is, you said this is spring? Spring motif number two. Okay. So um, I just need to continue this and then back stitching and beads, B and B is gonna be left. This is, once again, a Brita Cup Designs. They have <clears throat> seasonal motif one and two. Very nice. Thank you. Next we have, which is my set, my other whip go call, but I only worked on it one time. Okay. This, it, it took me forever, first of all, um, what happened was my, um, Amazon, what's that Amazon? The Fire HD, it stopped mm -hmm. working. Oh, no. I had to get a new, um, tablet. Yeah. I had to get a new tablet because I wanted, um, Pattern Keeper. Mm -hmm. And Temperature Butterflies and Pattern Keeper. Oh. So when I got it, I had to, I had to upload it and then I had to put down all the stitches that I've done. So it took a little bit for me to get settled. Oh, because <clears throat> there was no way to transfer it. Exactly. Can you transfer? If I had typically? If I had saved it. Oh, you don't back up. I, I need to back up. That's my problem. That's my problem. So this is Temperature Butterfly by Stitch and Mommy. I'm doing it in a uh, circle where December is like noon. And... I worked on December, April, May, June, July, August. This is the August month. I completed, what did I do? I completed the, the bottom part of this wing. And then I started this wing. Very nice. It, thank you. I, um, <clears throat> I don't remember how many. I didn't put down how many stitches I did, which is crazy. Usually I do. Mm-hmm. Well, you haven't been feeling well, so yeah. <laughs> just, just here. Let's do thank this. you. So I just worked on this. So when I get, when I have five more days to stitch on it for my whip go. Mm -hmm. I just need to make sure I, I would be able in the five days to finish this butterfly mm -hmm. and maybe start on on half of this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. And then you just have to. Um, do fill in. Yeah, so next year colors. I'll do fill in. Mm -hmm. Very nice. See, Candy finished hers. Yes. Oh, so nice. So Congratulations, pretty. Candy. Yes. Um, the 614 stitcher. stitcher. Yeah. And last but not least, last but not least, we have what is this bag? Mm -hmm. um, a stitching button. This is a stitching button bag. I'm using all but one um, color conversion. This is the palette. This is one. Thank you. This is One Dozen Quakers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. By Rosewood Manor. And we sectioned it off into 12 sections. I'm working on the December 2023 section. And it's a 13 months sal where every month you work at a section. And then by the end of 2024, you should have done and finished a Rosewood Manor. 
It's called hashtag bake me a Quaker sound. That's the 13 parts. Because you know, Baker's 13. Baker's dozen? Dozen is 13. Mm -hmm. All right, keep it in there. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Uh, <clears throat> and this is where I got to. It is tight. <clears throat> I should have There's the holes on the side keep mm -hmm. catching. Yeah. I should have never taken it out because I did walk each side. Anyway, this is where I am. Oh, look. You've made some nice progress on that. Yes, yeah, so I continued. Oh, yeah, I continued here. Yes. And then around this way. Yes. It's really pretty, y'all. It really is. The Weathered Barn by um, Gast mm -hmm. Simply Shaker. That's that deep red color. It's, it's lovely. Gorgeous. So, yeah, this is that. You're right. You're right. All right. This is a better picture, I think. And this is where I am. How are you finding working on it? Lovely. So, but you, it's gonna you, be difficult. Like, I don't care about the colors, like the variation, mm -hmm. but trying to find because a motif is split into sections. Mm -hmm. So this motif is split. I'm continuing past the split. Clearly. Yeah, because the, just the to finish flow. The yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So I will probably be stitching more mm -hmm. than that section mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. to cut off the thread. Mm -hmm. And then after mm -hmm. the thread is finished, then I'll mm -hmm. go back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Very but good. I'm loving it. Yeah. It's really excellent. nice. <clears throat> I'm enjoying, as I knew I would, but I, mm -hmm. I really enjoying watching posting in our Facebook group. Mm -hmm. And that's because I don't really, I'm not good at keeping up with Instagram. Mm -hmm. But looking at all of the colors and the starts and the progress people are making, it's yes. just, I love some it. of the color choices are just mind-boggling. I the fabric, uh, yeah, the, just yeah, very nice. It's, it's gonna be beautiful. I wish there was a way of getting everybody together when it's done at the end of 2024 so we could see them all. So maybe oh, at the end of 2024, have people um, post pictures, yes, and um. We try to collect them from Facebook and then can you download a picture from Instagram? Um, I don't think like to make like a slideshow. Mm -hmm. We would have to ask your permission, probably contact them. Like, oh, and ask them to send you a comment. Yeah, can you okay. send me a picture? Okay. I would love to feature mm -hmm. it on, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be, be cute. Nice. Oh, that can we write nice. that down? No, we have to put it in my calendar. <laughs> book yeah. I need to put it in my calendar. Okay. Are you going to yeah. remember? I don't know. I'm not going to remember. No. Okay. <laughs> Talk about stitch alongs. Yeah, right? I am working on Yay. the Evertote Modern Folk Embroidery Roxy Floss Co. Holiday Countdown. And I'm enjoying it, but I'm like so behind. Today is the 16th of December. Mm -hmm. So it's day 16 of the countdown, and I'm on day 8. Okay, not bad. But I, I'm just... I'm, I'm getting, I'm, well, you know, I'm making progress. Um, it's divided, it's a modern folk embroidery chart that has been divided into 25 parts. And so we started on December 1st, we will end on December 25th, assuming that you've kept up. And each day we open a brown envelope Mm -hmm. that has um, a piece of the chart and a floss. Oh, I think it's over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and a floss, uh, skein of floss. And the skein of floss is to be used for the symbol for that associated with that day, that piece of the chart. We also received, uh, you could download from the Evertote website, a list of 
all of the days and the symbols mm -hmm. and then every day I've been writing in mm -hmm. the, the color name so that I have a full color chart especially since I'm behind it's it's easy for it'll help me not get confused about what floss is for what day I also am writing on the tag of the floss in the corner the day number mm -hmm. So I'll, I need all the help I can get. So <laughs> I've been trying to do those two things, write down the name on the color key and also putting the number on the tag on the skein. Um, yes, I've been doing a lot of frogging because there's a tremendous amount of counting and just yeah it's it's yeah. but but it's been okay i mean i've it's been very calm about it very zen like and, mm -hmm. and with modern folk embroidery charts because they're they're a lot of quaker motifs the counting is important the placement mm -hmm. is it's hard to fudge yeah um i mean i've seen some of the later charts as people have shown their progress like trisha mm -hmm. i just want to stitch mm -hmm. she's caught up so I, I watched her video from yesterday, early this morning. Yeah. And it's beautiful. I can't wait. I watched Caroline. Yeah. She's on it. Yep. Yep. So, yes, I'm behind on hers, too. Actually, I was behind on Trisha's. I just sort of skimmed mm -hmm. in head. I put it on a playlist. Like, I put uh, it as a, I create my own playlist and just let it, do, 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 next, 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 next. Oh, you create a playlist, you just don't let it run? let it feed automatically because mine don't have autoplay because if mine had autoplay it'd go from one person and then another person and then another person oh, and then it's different. so when you create a playlist in youtube it'll go through all of the videos you have not watched of that one content provider if i if i create it yeah so what i would do because oh. <clears throat> i i cast it to the tv and it says create a playlist. So I would go from one flossmas, like Sammy J is doing flossmas, and every day she's um, she's she's you know showing mm -hmm. her project because she wants to finish that mm -hmm. stitch December. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I put one, two, three, four, like all the videos, and then just let it play, oh. and then it go next, 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 next. I have to try that. Can I borrow that pen? Sure. Thank you. Here's a pencil that I found. I also worked on this. So I had finished my whip go um, last time, last mm -hmm. time. So I had picked up another piece that was also on my whip go to kind of fill out some of the days remaining in the month. And the piece that I picked up is My Stitcher's Heart, Hands-On Design. This is on a 32 count French lace. And I'm using all the call for threads. Yeah. Jenny Flower. Actually, no, it's 32 count Frozen by Forbidden Fiber Co. It's a multi, as you can see, there's multiple ch parts to it. I'm stitching all of them and I've got them listed in some kind of crazy manner. So it's <laughs> hard to read. <laughs> oh, I understand. The waxer bag. Yes. And the fob yes. is that French lace. The yes. box lid is that frozen fiber. Coat. Yes, yes. And I'm using Jenny Thompson flower thread on Ooh, the that's lid. Pretty. Yeah. So some of my colors aren't exact um, in terms of, you know, what um, hands-on design mm -hmm. um, did, but I'm, I'm enjoying it very much. Oh, nice. Yes. I had to talk about frogging. Really? Yeah. So the T of heart. Uh huh. Okay. So it goes back to the H. The second side of the H is off by one thread. Uh -huh. So when I got all the way over to T and I'm working on this key under here. Um, so since you last saw it, I did this key under here. I finished Stitcher's heart. Um, and it may have been something else that I did as well, but mm -hmm. that was, a, yeah, I think there may have been something else, but that was me. Oh, I filled in, I had some, th these I think I filled in as well. Um, 
So as I came over to the end of the key, I realized this wasn't going to sit uh, correctly against the back side of the T. Mm -hmm. And I stopped to figure it out, and it turns out like somehow or another, the second leg of the H mm -hmm. was one strand short, one fabric thread short, mm -hmm. which meant that all of the rest of heart was off. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not taking all that out. So I just took out the T. And you just shifted it. And I shifted the T over by one mm -hmm. thread. Because of the way the T was positioned, I had enough clearance, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. that I could kind of squeeze in. And plus, her her letters are, you know, not tight. They're not, um, they're roomy. There's, like, there's spacing mm -hmm. um, between them. And, um, yeah, so that allowed me to do the key and... Uh, he's fascinated by that front door. The key in uh, in the right spot mm -hmm. because there's a bunch more left to do on it, and I it was important that the end of that key because let me turn around. A little I'm bit. sorry. <laughs> so it's so because there's like a chain that's going to come up here and and then go up here. And then there's a similar flower to this over there. So this had to be correct. So Joe's gotten bigger. Like a he's like a cat cat. Yeah, no. Not a kitten. Mm -mm. When he jumps up on something and he lays down like sideways, <laughs> and then he decides to stretch those back legs mm -hmm. out, I have to start moving <laughs> stuff because he'll just clear it all up. Yeah. It's like, Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'm making some really nice progress on my stitcher's heart. Um, I'm very excited about it. And I'm having fun stitching it. The the Jenny Thompson flower thread. You only use one strand, mm -hmm. so it's easy to use. Oh, nice. Cause it's a thicker. Yeah. It's a thicker um, thing. Yeah. I picked up, I don't know, I have so many copies of this. Oh, I think <laughs> one picture is bigger. That's what it is. I'm working on Around My Friends. I don't remember if this was a whip girl or not. Let me take a clicking look. Were you a whip girl? Yes, this was also a whip girl call this year. Um, and so I picked up to do some. I'm on the last piece of, no, am I? I don't. Yes, I think I'm on the last piece of this. I want to say yes. I, I think so, because it was a Whipco call throughout the year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I finished the... It's a collaboration between Hands on Design, Ink Circles, and Summer House Stitch Works. I have finished this one. Oh, yes. Yes. I finished this one. Yes. So this is the last one? And this is the last one. I'm working on, uh, and I believe this is the hands-on design one. That's one that I'm working Let on. Let me see, is that back? Is that backwards? Oh. Yeah, I'm working in the well. Okay. Yeah. Oops. This is backwards. Though. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> How can we take a simple task and make it more complicated? It's just two pieces, you know? <laughs> so this is the hands-on design contribution. Uh, this was an exclusive to Acorns and Threads in, mm -hmm, in 2021. And a uh, friend of mine, um, no, did I purchase this or was it given to me? I think I purchased this at the time. Um, yeah, you did. This it's it's intricate and and the it, the intricacy of it has me really zeroed in. All of them have been intricate in terms of their stitching, like counting matters. Mm -hmm. And um, but I'm loving the colors. And so where, since you last, where are you? What I'm at the doing? very 
top. Right. Oh, here. this one. I thought yeah. you were doing this one. No, but this no, okay. one. Yeah. I worked on. Okay. Yeah. Is that the big one? Yeah, this is the bigger one. Mm -hmm. I'm working on this one right here, mm -hmm. and I'm working at the top, the top leaf. So since you last saw it, I've done. I did primarily fill in uh, with the blue color um, on the leaves with mm -hmm. the blue color. So it's hard to tell the progress. I know, but that's pretty much. Um, and that's what happens with these. They're kind of. They don't look like you're getting much done, and then all of a sudden you'll hit one color and boom. You have a leaf. Yeah, it'll fill in itself. So these have been, this has been a fun project. And I have all of the finishing pieces uh, for, for it, the, the rounds. And I think I have some um, hoops. I bought some hoops. Hopefully, I bought the right size mm -hmm. so that I can um, be all ready. Yeah. So I'm 36 count platinum by Zweigart using Gloriana silk threads. Yep, you yep. started on my birthday. Oh, it's your birthday start. Mm -hmm. Ah, look at that. <laughs> So you can continue working on it. Oh, um, not yes. Into 2024. I'm definitely going to finish it. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if I put it on my whip go. I may have put it on my 24 whip go because I know I'm just getting close. Yeah. And it, that would be a really easy way to finish it. Mm -hmm. And I was not going to let 2023 go out without putting some time in on sugar skull yes. by imagining. I have made the decision to not do all of the um, floral bits and pieces around the skull. I'm going to finish the skull, the ears, and and, and that the stuff outside of the skull. Yeah. This is on a um, glow in the dark fabric. I'm using the call for mm -hmm. DMC threads. And since you saw it last, I, I work primarily with the yellow color mm -hmm. around the earrings. Yeah. Are those earrings or just? I don't know. They're, they're flower buds, but they're kind of like it where the mm -hmm. ear would be. Mm -hmm. The earrings. Sort of, yeah, like dangly. If you had dangly mm -hmm. earrings on an ear, if you had an ear. <laughs> <laughs> So mm -hmm. the yellow and the orange that you see around the flower bud is what I prim primarily did this time. Yeah. So it looks good. Yeah, and I think that will actually enable me to finish mm -hmm. this because I keep looking at it and it just keeps looking more daunting and daunting. And I've been working on this, I feel like, since the beginning of time. And I do want to get it you done. You get a lot of yellow. It's a lot of yellow. And good. there's a tremendous amount of backstitch. Yes. Which is why I know I should do backstitch as I go along, which is why I do normally. Uh-huh. But this time around. Well, when I started <laughs> it back in, you know. Except for the eyes. I did the backstitch in the eyes. See? Yes. The backstitch in the eyes. I don't think you finished it, though. Let me see. Those are more? Oh, yeah. there's more. Yeah, there's, there's more. more. Yeah. Hmm. I think I was just reaching in. I have to put in more backstitch around the eyes. I guess I want to see. What's the copyright? I don't know, but. 2015. 2015. 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've been working. But it is one of my oldest mm -hmm. whips, for sure. Is it on your whip go for next year? Mm -hmm. No, but it's on my focus list okay. for next year. So those were the whips that I worked on okay. this past week. Um, anything else I need to tell you about that one sad story? But <laughs> I can I know that if I have a piece. So again, you know the story behind that is I from the last time on my whip parade for the end of twenty twenty one. I every time it came up in rotation this year, I passed it over. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was not pretty. 
Okay, how about your investments and kindness? Oh, I have investments and kindness. Yes, you do. Let's do investments first. Okay. Okay. So, I received several things in the mail. I received, I didn't get my magazine, so... I contacted Just Cross Stitch, mm -hmm. and I got my magazine uh, oh, nice. December. Oh, okay. This is a thickum. Yeah, because they do a lot of ornament type things in it. Okay. Let me see that. Oh, yes, I did get you that. You got that mm -hmm. one, yeah. Yeah, there are some nice ornaments in there. And, oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone through them yet. All I know, I know is I didn't have it. All you have to do is <laughs> look at the <laughs> look at the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Did I know this? This is new. No, <laughs> it's always been there. This is super cute. Yeah, yeah. There's some very nice uh, charts in in that issue. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh wait a minute, this looks familiar. It's because I watched Caroline's. Flip through? Yeah, flip oh, through. Okay. I'm like, oh my God, did I tell them I didn't have it and I did? But no. <laughs> Carol, Carol did a flip through. I also received Color and Cotton. My um, fabric of the month. Oh. Ooh. This was unexpected. This is called... So you got two nice red pieces now, because I yes. brought you back that cherry, yes. cherry copper. Yes, from, something like that. From um, Roxy Floss Co. This is called Red Velvet. Very nice. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. It's like a rustic, rusty yeah. red. Yeah. Very nice. It's not as red as my shirt. Okay, so you see the difference, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. Oh, what does your t-shirt say? Oh, it says... My weekend, let me do like show you. Yeah. Over my head. My weekend is booked. There you go. And you see the book right there? <laughs> Where's the book right here? <laughs> yes, I've been reading, y'all. <laughs> Iron Flame? Is that another one of those fantasy oh, ones? Yes. It's so good. Nah. It's so good. <laughs> It's so good. Like, ah, uh, it's so good. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> um, red velvet. So good. If you're in the fantasy, romance, you love dragons, go ahead and read Fourth Wing and then read Iron Flame. Please. Do oh, yourself that oh, favor. Is are they? Is it part of the series? Yeah, this is the second book in, oh, in the okay. series. Okay, so it, Fourth Wing is the first book. Yes, and this one is Iron Fang is the second of okay. the series. Okay. I think they're they're gonna do more. Mm -hmm. If you like to hold on and wait until all the parts come out of the mm -hmm. series, mm -hmm. then go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> if you're ooh, all the spoilers are out, but it's so good. It's so good. I enjoyed. Now this is um, pea flower. Hello. Goodbye. You're not you're, okay. They're, they're, you don't see, but he's right here. Yeah. It's really ignoring. <laughs> This is Under the Sea Fabrics, Leslie Under the Sea Fabrics. This is a 32 count Joblin pea flower. This is pretty. Oh, he got locked locked out. What? When I one one day this week mm -hmm. when I was gone for a good chunk of the day. Mm -hmm. Earlier that day I had watered flowers and I had rinsed down windows and mm -hmm. doors. And I had closed the sliding glass door that I usually have open a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I came in, I closed the door back here, and I left home for about, I don't know, five, six hours. 
Joe he was locked out onto the patio. I came home, I walk into the bedroom to change clothes and he's like standing on the glass. Like the this. betrayal. You're like, you let me out here? <laughs> Oh, poor so I opened the glass and I said, oh my goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. So I let him in. And then I, I'll show you the patio. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He walked through kitty litter. He, he, because the floor was wet. Mm -hmm. You can tell that he was panic stricken. Mm -hmm. You can, all of his paw marks mm -hmm. everywhere. And it's just back and forth. I mean, just back and forth, just you could tell it was a Aww. very traumatic experience Aww, for him. Baby. Poor baby. Aww. Yeah. I felt so bad for him. Aww. That, but you know, it, he still runs out in the door. <laughs> you get. Listen, next time you pay more attention when I go in the house. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I did feel bad for him though. Aww. Especially when I saw my floor. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, what did you do? I can't get the palm marks off. This is a brand new painted floor. Wait till you see what it looks. Really? Oh, it's awful. They're all palm marks. Do you think the cat will laugh? <laughs> the other cat. LeBron James was asleep on the foot of the bed. His favorite spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he says, uh huh, no competition. <laughs> I got the whole thing to myself. <laughs> All right, I got something from Bianca. Yes, and sorry, Bianca, I um, your package has been here oh, nice. for a while, and I had a conversation with Vicky Stitching Button asking me about a package, and I realized that I had received her package during that stretch after I came back from Canada when I was sick for a bit. And then right as I started to feel better was when I had all the work done to replace windows and doors. And packages were coming in and I just didn't try to open anything. I just took them and stacked them. And when Vicki asked me about it, I was like, oh, right. I've got this stack of unopened mail. Let me go. And so I actually came home and found Vicky's package and mm -hmm. sent her a picture of it. Yes, I do have Oops. it. And then I promptly opened everything else. So thank you everybody who sent anything towards the end of October, early November, actually thank anything, you. anytime. Ever. Yes, period. Thank you. So we are going to have the most wonderful giveaway. Yes. At the beginning of the year, my world will calm down as of the beginning of the year. And I can go through and sort and organize everything like we did before because mm -hmm. that worked out really well. well. Mm -hmm. So I just need some time to, uh, and I have not had it, to um, clear it out. But thank you. Thank you so much. Got some John James needles. Twin pointed quick stitch needles. Have you ever used those? I have. I remember, yeah, way back in the day. And I think I still have a couple. You might like those. And then some petites. Some petites. Oh, because I do stitch two-handed. Yeah. Oh, so it just go. Choo. Yeah. You it go down. Go down and push it. Move it over. Push it up. Push it up. Oh, interesting. Yeah. How do you thread it? I wonder. Well, there's a there's a thingy on the back. You, you thread both ends. Oh, there's. I have to thread both ends. So there's two strands. I don't remember. I I bought some. I tried them. And I probably still have the same needles I bought back in the early 90s. Those look like they were bought about the same time. <laughs> we're probably on the same time. Like, like listen, uh, 